guys, welcome to the Baker Creek Gardens. Today we're going to talk about cauliflower. Um, so cauliflower can sometimes be uh, sensitive to uh, peaks and valleys in the heat. So to avoid any real problems with um, forming this nice curd, you're going to want to plant cauliflower once a week for the first four to six weeks of the season. So right after that last frost, you want to plant cauliflower once a week for four to six weeks. That way, if you have any major temperature swings, at least some of your cauliflower will still come out with good tight heads like this. Um, there are some varieties of cauliflower that are purple, there are some that are green, there are some that are orange, and there are some that are white. Uh, for the white cauliflower, uh, you'll have to blanch the heads. This means you'll have to take the side leaves and cover the head to keep it white and um, keep it as a nice tight curd. Um, today I'll be showing you how to blanch white cauliflower. So right about here we'll see this is a small head. This is a small tight curd of cauliflower and right now it's being shaded by the leaves so it's still white but once it gets a little bigger it runs the risk of turning uh, green or getting uh, sprouts in between the curds and we want to avoid that so we're going to tie up the head just like this and you want to make sure that you tie it loosely because you need airflow. Um, one major concern of tying up the heads too tightly is that you can get diseases from bad air circulation between the leaves. So you just tie it up like this and in about 14 days you can come back. I would periodically check it about once a week to make sure that it's not rotting. But in about 14 days, you'll have a nice white head and it should be a nice tight curd. Um, and this is uh, something I just harvest. This has a, this is an ideal cauliflower. It's got a nice tight head and it doesn't seem to have too many pests. However, uh, sometimes you can find cabbage loopers hiding tight in the heads of these cauliflower. So the best thing to do is to soak this for 30 minutes in a very weak salt water solution and that'll drive out any cutworms that might be hiding in the heads.